Did you know that more than 35 billion IoT devices were already connected to the internet in 2021? That number is expected to double in the next four years. Let's dive deeper. Do you know how the IoT architecture is organized? You're on the Jelvix channel, and we're excited to share our thoughts on recent developments in tech in five minutes. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. IoT architecture is a system of numerous elements, such as sensors, actuators, protocols, cloud services, and layers that make up an IoT networking system. The three-layered IoT architecture is easy to implement, but many security threats are the most important reason why this architecture is almost not used these days. Perception layer implies all types of sensors that can be used in IoT devices, namely, Temperature sensors that help control the temperature of water in household heating systems. Humidity sensors that are widely used in HVAC systems. Pressure sensors that help to measure the flow of air or liquids. Level sensors that gauge the number of liquids in tanks or gas in the air. And infrared sensors that can detect motion. Have you used any sensors for a smart home system? Share in the comments section. Among the most popular threats of this layer are eavesdropping, as there's a high chance that a hacker will get access to people's conversations. Node capture means to steal the data stored on IoT devices. And timing attack, that needs attackers to analyze the time required by IoT devices to respond. Network layer helps establish the logical design of IoT by connecting devices with the platform. Among the most popular IoT communication models are Ethernet, which is a secure way to connect IoT devices using a wire. Wi-Fi, as a wireless network, is one of the most convenient ways to connect IoT devices. NFC ensures fast and hassle-free data transfer between two IoT devices. And Bluetooth, that helps transfer data, consuming low amounts of power. By the way, we highly recommend you to read the article about Beacon Technology. The link is in the description. Among the most popular types of attacks in this layer are a main in the middle attack, in which hackers manipulate devices in real time, storage attack, in which the hackers download the gathered data, and exploit attack, in which scammers find loopholes and utilize them for unauthorized access to IoT systems. Application layer represents all devices that use the IoT devices or systems deployed. Among the most popular ways to attack devices in this layer are cross-site scripting, in which hackers insert a piece of code and run it as site administrators, and malicious code attacks, as computer viruses can easily harm particular IoT devices or even ruin a complicated IoT model. Four-layered IoT architecture has one additional layer recognized as the support layer. It's placed between the network and perception layers and verifies if the information is sent from an authenticated user. Among the most common threats in this level are DOS attack, which needs a hacker to send a lot of requests to the network layer, and insider attack, which needs a scammer to get the login credentials of an existing IoT system. Five-layer IoT architecture consists of the basic architecture that implies two extra layers, namely processing and business ones. The processing layer gathers all the data provided by the perception layers through a network. Among two major data processing stages of this layer are data accumulation, where the main goal is to sort the gathered data to store it efficiently, and data abstraction, where the gathered data is used for getting helpful insights. Among the most popular threats in this level are malware, as there's a chance that Trojans or computer viruses will get into a system and exhaustion that aims to drain the battery of a device or take 100% of a computer's processing power and memory. The business layer ensures that users can use IoT systems hassle-free. This layer is considered secure. Edge layer is placed between the network and processing layers and uses the FOG computing model, which enhances large-scale IoT systems. The security layer is considered the seventh, it helps protect other layers of IoT by keeping devices, clouds, and connections safe from intruders. So, there were only three vital IoT architecture layers when the technology was developed. However, 
Some systems use from five to seven Internet of Things architecture layers these days. And which number of layers do you think is the most optimal? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.